Hello guys! As you guys know, I do Crafty Dares over on Instagram. Tina, tell him thank you, is hosting this uh, Crafty Dare. And what it is, is that every week on Sunday, you get three items to use. And on Friday, you post in Instagram your project. Uh, the project you did with the three items in it. If you guys are interested in anticipating, you can um, get the information, the link in the description so you guys can go over and check it out. Now, you have to have an Instagram with content on your Instagram to be able to anticipate. Then you will message Tina, tell him thank you, and she will get back to you and give you all the information you need. But all you need, really need is to be a Instagram, have an Instagram, to, you know, post regular, have posts on your videos, I mean, on your Instagram already, and be creative. Because even if you lost your creativity, the other ladies will uh, with their projects will give you a push for next week, if that makes any sense. I had lost my mojo totally, but I'm telling you, working with these ladies, they kind of got me out of my comfort zone, because every week there's a three different prompt that you have to use in your crafts or your projects, and with those three made me go a little farther. So with that being said, I will have all the description information in the description. So this week was... The three items was slim card, had to use both red and purple, and you had to use a sweet treat like ice cream, cake, pie, anything that's a sweet treat to you. Those three items you have to put in your project. So because it's a slim card, never made a slim card before, but I did make one off camera, but I will make one on camera. So here's the one I did make. Here is my sweet treat. Little little petsies, the doggy and the kitty, eating the cupcake. Then you have some uh, jelly beans here spilled over. Here is my purple and my red. My slim card. And then you open it up and then you have the little puppy inside with the ice cream. I'm not a car maker but I did make that and I also made a little envelope to put it in. So what did I do? Now this measures three and a half by eight and a half. Okay. So you want to cut you your paper and of course I have to cut it off. So hold on. You want to cut it at seven. You know, cut it at seven, eight and a half, and then you just want to. You can score it. Here's my score tool. Okay, here it is. Score it at three and a half. Okay, or you can just use your scoreboard and go half. Okay, make sure it's scored very well. That's your slim card. Three and a half by eight and a half. So now, here's my red. So you need purple. I did red and then I put some white in there. I'm going to have to measure that out. Now let me get my purple. So what I want to do is I want to take these and I want to use my um, my ruler. Why is nothing here when you... Oh, here it is. See how that's eight and a half? So I want to take my ruler and I just want to... Rip it. 
Try to make it even. Should have went the other way. Make it easier. I do like this. Much easier. So now I have that. So this one, I went this way. So let's do this one this way. So we got the purple. And then I want to do maybe the white here. Or I can do some white here. And then do this. I like that. I like that better. Okay, so let's put it down. Right now, I have this tape right here. Nope. Just got to move things around. Go one. Some on this one. Sorry, you didn't even see me do it. There you go. So now a little off on that, but no big deal. Make sure your tape is on. See if I can pull it up with this. Nope. Gotta use the fingers. Nails. So, let's see. How did I do it? To make sure this one is approximately here. One down, and then put this on the corner. There you go. That's it. So, that's the first part. I also put inside a sheet. So you need one that's um, eight and a half by, what was it? Eight and a half by three and a half. So you gotta cut it a little shorter. Just like I gotta cut my paper a little thing shorter. This one I'm just gonna, since it's three and a half, I want to do three and a quarter, and then I want to do it, it's eight and a half, so do eight and a quarter. So let's do that. But I'm gonna use my ruler, short, whatever tear guide ruler to get that tear look. Sorry for the sounds. It's a little off there, but we'll work with it. Now, like I told you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. It's small. If not, I'll be using my fingers. Yeah, I'm going to use my fingers. Just to tear it. See what it looks like. 
Okay, you see how that's a little extra? I want to just kind of tape that down so it won't be so close to the edge. I'm really not trying to make it perfect. Really, I'm not. I am clearly don't really know what the heck I'm doing. So you see on the top, I don't want the straightness, so let's tear that one. I like that. What do you guys think? So let's put some tape on it. If you want to use glue, use glue, but I chose not to use glue because using glue, sometimes I get heavy handed and it kind of warps the paper. So I kind of have like a, a card that's kind of wavy here. Excuse me. There you go. Have this over here. Now let's stick it up. doesn't have to be perfect just I'm going eyeballing it and just trying to get it as straight possible on this side this side I'm not worried about it because it still looks nice so that's my inside that's my outside let's do this tighten this one more time okay now we need the sweet treat image so I have sweet one and I can put what do you call this frappuccino a sweet drink boba that's it we can do that or I can use the ice cream or the sweet uh, teach me I don't want to use this because it's another text and then we got a, a slushy. So let's do. I don't know. I like this. So we can layer. Let's layer things up. So I'm going to use this trim because it's here. So. It's a lot. Let's cut it down some. Okay. We could do it like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm just trying to make it basic and I'm trying to just use what's around my desk. So let's just use that. Now I'm going to use glue on this one to hold this down better. Okay. And I'm using Aileen's uh, clear gel tacky glue. It would have to be perfect, so I'm just going to put it there. So far, that's that. I have these little 
flat back pearls. I don't know why it's there, so I'm going to use it. Have you guys just sit at your desk and you're crafting and you just pick up whatever's around? I do. Now the object, the, now it's trying to, well, I lost the tape part on that, I think. Yep. So I got to put a little dab of glue. That's a dab. I usually use um, hot glue, but yeah, I didn't turn my glue gun on. Let's get the other one. Tape is coming off of it. I'm gonna try to pour it on this side. Maybe I put a little bit too much on that one. And drop it on. And that's it on that. So now we have to put the sweet treat on it. I kind of like that and I'm just going to take it and this is all this is is a sticker because that's all I have around here I don't have chipboard pieces but I do have these stickers if I can there you go and I'm just going to pop it right there so now, that is my challenge, my crafty dare this week. A slim card, a, I uh, use both red and purple, and I used red and purple, and use a sweet treat. I used um, the ice cream sticker, and I have sweet in this. So that's it. So tell me what you guys think. And guys, if you guys are interested in like challenging yourself, pushing yourself, getting yourself out of your little, your crafty mojo, because I know we get into that a lot. And nowadays, because we're in our house more, so we craft more. So sometimes we just don't know how to start something or even just to get yourself motivated to get in the craft room. Just Try one day at a time, and why don't you guys come over, check it out, try it for one or two weeks. If you like it, stay. If it's not for you, we understand. But there is days that a lot of us can't craft, so we do skip a week. So if you guys are interested, the link will be in the description. Come on over. We all love to have you. And until my next video, guys, bye.